new teasers and updates for chapter 4 are here. And although these first teasers are fan made, it turns out they actually reveal confirmed information we're meant to see in chapter 4. Basically what the full game is meant to look like, as throughout this early look into an amusement park setting, a few details match up with what some of the Poppy Playtime game developers actually already reveal to us. In terms of this indoor amusement park setting, this sort of moon character depicted in the corner of the teaser is actually way more important to chapter 4 than you might think. But why? Well it turns out digging through the physical files of chapter 3, you'd see that this moon character actually connects to one of the leftover clues that the game developers left in for their next game. Specifically a bunch of strange new character drawings left behind in Home Sweet Home that don't quite match up with anything we've actually seen in chapter 3 at least. An angry girl that doesn't quite match up with the expressions of the other female characters we've come across, along with the drawing of a flower character and a sun character. And while this sun may not perfectly match up with the moon design popping up in the teaser directly, it turns out this easter egg goes a whole lot deeper than this. You see, in their scrapped location designs from previous chapters, Mob Entertainment have placed the moon and the sun together every single time even including the same model we were shown in the early fan-made teaser. And while this sun-moon connection into chapter 4, which started all the way back in chapter 2, may not seem very strong on its own, it turns out this same sun-moon connection was also part of the content that the game developers told us that they were specifically reintroducing into chapter 4 in the first place. Let me explain. One of the creators behind the Poppy Playtime games told us to be expecting the possibility of some of the scrap designs and characters from Chapter 2 to be making an official comeback in this next game, specifically. And from the same video featuring the characters we're expecting to see in some way, the sun and moon location designs were also shown to us. And in terms of Chapter 4, we know this design idea to be incredibly important, based on the fact that we were given a ton of space teasers in the previous game that specifically brought up the moon as being important for some strange reason. The fact that several of the Smiling Critters cutouts make a direct reference to the moon that went along with all of the other mysterious space teasers for the next game that would obviously include both the moon and the sun. Even the early amusement park location teaser for the next game is specifically shown to us to be at night. If we're looking for more reasons that the moon would be important here. You gotta remember that this is a huge factory that would technically be able to fit all the technology capable of making it appear to be nighttime inside the actual location. So while we aren't given much information towards what we'd be expecting with the addition of this sun moon design, which is strangely shown to be alive in one of the home sweet home images, we know that there's a lot of connections into what we're expecting for chapter 4 in the first place. But we're given the potential for a more official sort of first look based on the information we were given from a particular comment about chapter 4 teasers in the first place. Also, someone just leaked a video of Chapter 4. Ali is none of those characters already mentioned by the looks of it. He looked like he had a spinning cap on and looked like a robot watching cameras, describing a pretty interesting depiction of Ali. But it turns out we can find this same alleged leaked video to be a sort of early face reveal for Ali in the first place. The video itself was labeled to be a concept, meaning this specific depiction of Ali is not what we're actually supposed to see in the next game. But it turns out the developers themselves teased information that was way more official that could also very well change every single future Poppy Playtime game. They ended up revealing the possibility of the games after Chapter 3 taking place in a completely new way. But how? Well, a member of the official Poppy Playtime Discord ended up getting us more details on the whole situation, asking one of the developers for Chapter 3, is it possible that the game has more than one ending? As we've already seen with similar mascot horrors, how multiple endings were often used to show more secrets about the game's actual story. Basically, with more endings, we'd be expecting more playtime to fully figure out the game. And the game developer gave us huge news by responding to the question with Chapter 3 doesn't. 
but we thought about doing it, and it was just too ambitious. But who knows, maybe we'll do it in the future. Implying that later down the line is when the possibility for multiple endings would finally pop up. But as for what these multiple endings would be meant to look like in Chapter 4, we know pretty definitively that the main ending is again meant to lead us into another new part of the factory, as the game developers have already confirmed to us that after Chapter 4, we're meant to see both Chapter 5 and Chapter 6 as well as a slight possibility of a whole nother chapter after that one. But are we actually going to see multiple endings in chapter 4? Well it turns out the CEO of the entire company set our expectations for this next game to basically top everything they've created for chapter 3, at least. With plans to get better and better, there's always a chance that this actually pops up in the next game. But the developers continue teasing more of the details for this next game that started with the early rumors for what characters could actually be in it. Specifically, we've continued to see talks of Daisy hopefully being added in some way within either chapter 4 or a future chapter. But the developers themselves actually responded to the whole possibility, which started way back at the start of chapter 3. In the Poppy Playtime Discord, we were told by the same game developer that, oh yeah, and finally, Daisy being the boss can be put to rest too. Which was phrased in a way that tells us they're simply done hearing about the whole thing involving her character in the first place. The CEO of the company also basically told us to let Daisy die, meaning everyone over at Mob Entertainment seems to be continuing to push the idea that Daisy should not be an expectation for any of the future games. But we know what should be in this next game is the already revealed Chapter 4 monsters we've finally been given more information about. Outside of all the monsters returning into the next game, we know that there's supposed to be new ones in the concept phase that Mob Entertainment have been working on. But during this early planning phase for these Chapter 4 monsters, it turns out some of the developers decided to give us information early. Basically new clues to help go along with what we're expecting to see. And it turns out, for starters at the very least, we were shown a special easter egg left in the previous game that confirms one of these monsters after all. It turns out we finally have the full story. And I'm able to put this full story together for you early in this video right here. So for everything we know about the upcoming chapter 4 monsters, make sure to check it out. 